Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about how this healing actually occurs inside your body, which is really a cool idea when you think about it because your body really, at least my perspective, what I've seen clinically with myself, with you guys in the practice, your body really doesn't need a lot of help. It just needs no interference. Interference comes in the form of stress, physical stress, chemical stress, emotional stress, that's what creates interference. It affects this nervous system, which cannot perceive or adapt to the environment as well. It also can't heal the body as well. Most of the time, what I find is if we think we're doing something to our body or beneficial to our body, most of the time we're just getting in the way. For example, someone who takes antihistamine for a sore throat. Histamine is a natural occurring chemical in your body that inflames a specific spot. And typically when you get sick, your body's going to release histamine to inflame the area. Why? Because inflammation is how your body gets construction workers to the job site. When I say construction workers, I mean things like white blood cells, parts of your immune system that are going to come into an area and kill off whatever germ or virus or bacteria is housed there. So when you take something like an antihistamine, for example, what does that do? Well, it distorts the body's innate mechanism to fight off this virus. Instead of having all this inflammation, now you've stunted that. So no construction workers can get to the job site, which I can imagine, you can guess what's gonna happen after that. Body's not gonna be able to heal like it should. The virus, the bacteria, whatever that is, is going to remain there longer and cause more damage than it should have if you had just allowed your body to do what it needs to do. Is it uncomfortable? Yes. And if it's too uncomfortable, then by all means, do what you wanna do. But at the same time, just understand, that's not bringing you closer to health. It's actually preventing your body from doing what it needs to do. I have the same problem with ice. Ice numbs a specific spot and it reduces, again, inflammation or swelling, which is your body's ability to heal the tissue that has been damaged. Ice can be beneficial to numb and help you feel better temporarily, but it's prolonging the inevitable healing process. And a lot of times what we see is by using too much ice, you're actually promoting or creating more scar tissue buildup, which is muscles, tendons, and ligaments that haven't healed properly. So instead of being elastic and gliding and nice and loosey-goosey like they should be, they get rigid and hard and don't work like they want. we want them to. And then when we start to move, we hear all this popping and cracking and wonder what that is. It's scar tissue. And it's because our body didn't heal like it should have. So getting back to my original point of this video, because I went on a tangent there, I think it's important though. When we talk about the healing process, we talk about this idea of above, down, inside, out. And what I mean by that is that's how the body heals. So the brain has to first become aware that there's a problem. Once it's aware, it sends signals down the spinal cord. So from the above down, and then from the inside, these little nerves are going to shoot out to whatever parts of the body that are in, injured, damaged, or um, under attack from a virus or an invader. And they're going to help the body heal. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to think about it. Your amazing body's gonna do it all without you. However, it just doesn't need any interference. So that's why this spine is so important. We wanna make sure it's functioning well and why you'll see, if you ever look at our wall outside in the office, you'll see these pictures of people talking about immunity and, and how they don't get sick as much anymore. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not making them more immune to things per se. I'm just helping their nervous system function better. And as a result, it does what it needs to do at a higher level. Hope you guys found this valuable. Talk with you on the next one.